every parent wants to know when they send their kid to school on the bus that they'll get home safely. But crashes and close calls have forced school bus safety into the spotlight across our region. One local school district in particular has been dealing with the challenges. 10 News reporter Lindsay Kennett spoke with a Henry County bus driver about the risks and responsibility on the road. For 13 years, and those students are priceless. Every weekday morning, Jay Mitchell has greeted Henry County students with a smile. I've always just um, enjoyed interacting with the students. The bus driver's two daughters went through the district, but he says the middle schoolers on his route are like his own. I have students now that were on this bus that are now graduated and in college, like my daughter. Um, so you, you know, you, you have that bond that lasts a lifetime. While rewarding, Mitchell says he feels the weight of what it means to sit behind the wheel. He says the biggest threat is the other drivers. Whether it be an accident, a student struck, or they pass in the bus, it's just because of distractions. And they're just not paying attention. Henry County is no stranger to the dangers on the road. The most recent crash was just before 7 this morning in Henry County. A 51-year-old Martinsville man died on January 28th after crashing into a school bus. An eight-year-old boy was rushed to a hospital with life-threatening injuries after he was hit by a car while getting off a school bus back in September. And in November, three buses were involved in three separate crashes in the span of a week, including this one caught on camera in this bus dash cam video. A pickup truck driver crossed the yellow lines and collided with this school bus full of children forcing them off the road, injuring three students and the bus driver. Henry County Public Schools Director of Communications, Monica Hatchett, says it could have been much worse. It was a very scary day and um, certainly not something we would ever want to repeat. These seats are typically filled with precious cargo and bus drivers tell me they want to keep students themselves and other drivers on the road safe. So they want to reiterate that when you see these flashing red lights and stop sign, it means stop. By Virginia state law, drivers approaching from any direction must stop for school buses and stay stopped until the bus's lights and stop sign are not activated and the bus starts moving again. The only exception is if a school bus is on the opposite side of a median or physical barrier. Motorists are not required to stop but should be on the lookout for students crossing the road. Other districts across Central and Southwest Virginia have seen their fair share of crashes and close calls. Back in October, this Bedford County Elementary School bus driver, 52-year-old Kimberly Ricketts, was fired and charged with child endangerment and driving under the influence. On January 27th, two teens were injured and a Pennsylvania County bus driver charged after state police say the bus driver did not stop at a red light and was hit by another car. Then, on February 3rd, a passenger vehicle driver was killed after rear-ending a Carroll County school bus full of students. Buses can be replaced, drivers and students cannot. Mitchell says the job comes with great responsibility that needs to be shared by every driver on the roads. Lindsay Kennett, 10 News, working for you. Henry County is testing out a new school bus route system that uses tablets to check in and check out students and navigate. The district says it could be a huge asset and ensure student safety even more.